Hello world, hello world. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, call me Biz, Dave Attell. Uh, someone sent me um actually a lot of links to his work and said uh, he was a great comedian. Um, unfortunately, none of those links worked for me. I think it was for. Uh, one of his comedy albums. Anyways, uh, I found one myself. This is Love Songs Ruin Relationships. <laughs> the title's funny, so that's why I chose this one. Uh, so if you're watching, um, those links didn't work. I think I think I emailed back and said that. Anyway, I don't know. Look, if you enjoy this content, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, uh, like the video if you like the video. Um, yeah, leave a comment. Let me know you were here. If you ain't got nothing to say, just be like I was here. I appreciate that. That's love. Uh, let's go ahead and watch. All right. How's it going? Montreal party town. You know what? This town could really use another strip club. I think that would help things out. I went about a block and a half without seeing one. I got a little nervous. You guys love to drink. Montreal. I'm into that, man. I like this new local drink. What is it called? A lot? I think that's great. <laughs> that used to be my favorite drink. <laughs> Here's a little drinking tip. Never get drunk when you're wearing a hooded sweatshirt. <laughs> what? Because you will eventually think there's someone right behind you. <laughs> I had a little trouble getting into the country. In fact, I got stopped at the airport. In fact, I have a new nickname at the airport. They call me Random Bag Chick. And, um... <laughs> I've been traveling all over, and I'll tell you, one of my favorite places is Mexico. Have you guys ever, Mexico? It's kind of like here, but it's a little more fun. You know why? Because they have something down there that we don't have here. It's called no laws at all. <laughs> and laws fun. always get in the way of fun, you know? Like here you go to a doctor. In Mexico, you are a doctor, and I think that's great. <laughs> So with all the traveling and drinking and stuff, I really don't work out or anything like that. I know a lot of comics talk about it. They're always telling you you should jog and things like that. I don't jog. You know why? Not because I'm against jogging. It always seems joggers are the ones that find the dead body. You know what I'm saying? That's true. You never find a dead body when you're sitting at home eating ice cream watching porno. You know what I'm saying? And I know you like porno. Talk more about porn? You got it. Some people are against it. And I say, hey, Oklahoma. Whatever a man and a woman and another woman with a penis and a midget that do to a parrot, that's their business. Not the midget and a parrot. I can't help it if I like parrots. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Parrot's my favorite pet. I want a parrot. You know why? I won't teach him dirty words or songs. I'll teach him things I should know. If I had a parrot, I'd use him more like a palm pilot. <laughs> Remember I would teach him phone numbers and addresses or just things that can help me in a crisis, you know, like, in case of an earthquake, get in the doorway. <laughs> no one has freckles on their ass. Use a condom. <laughs> <laughs> Talk more about condoms? Okay, here it comes. <laughs> Fellas, never let a woman put a condom on you, okay? Do it yourself. Because when a lady does it, it can be embarrassing. It's like, oh, look, oh, look, there's still more room. <laughs> <laughs> we can tie it off and use it again and again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Every man wonders about his size, right? Laying a bit alone at night or in a hammock with a monkey. <laughs> so thinking, do I have a really small, uh -huh, uh -huh? Or just gigantic legs. I don't know. <laughs> Luckily, there's a test. The first time you show it to your girlfriend or doctor or press it up against a bus window or something like that. <laughs> Yo, he said some wild shit. <laughs> when someone looks at it for the first time, you want a reaction. You want some excitement. You want another language, if possible, like, Santa Maria! Ay, papi! Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no! That's good. But if someone looks at it and the first thing out of their mouth is, oh, that's not good. Time to buy a Corvette. Well, now, ladies, is it really the size of a man's penis that matters, is it? Well, the whores have spoken. Oh, but, oh lordy. 
a hoo ha, a hee hoo, a hee ha hoo ha wang. Some women say yes. Some women say no. It's how he uses it. How he uses it. What is this man doing with this magical penis? <laughs> is he building things and fighting terrorism? What is he doing? <laughs> A gazebo, how did that get here? <laughs> Whatever happened to love, huh? Huh? Don't you ever wish you could make love to the first person you ever made love to again, just to show them how good you got at it? <laughs> hey, look who's not crying. <laughs> what? <laughs> You know what I think ruins all these relationships? These love songs, right? It's all about falling in love and falling out of love. What about the middle times of just being with someone? Hour after hour, day after day, for years on end. Mm. I want to hear those tunes. That would be a beautiful songs song. Songs with titles like, hey, how long does it take to pick out a pair of shoes, bitch? What's going on in there? <laughs> hot, chop, chop. <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is I really miss my dad. I really do. You know, it's when you're young, you think your dad's Superman, and then you grow up and you realize he's just a drunk who wears a cape. Well, there you go. <laughs> what, have I ever shaved my pubic area? Interesting question, father. <laughs> Let me tell you this. I have shaved my pubes, everyone, okay? Not because I wanted to. I was involved in a horrible gum accident. Now, it was horrible. <laughs> what the Rather not talk about it. Fellas, if you shave your pubes, you better shave your whole body. Because nothing looks weirder than a hairy gut, hairy legs, and nothing in between. <laughs> it looks like a garbage fire broke out on your nutsack. <laughs> My best friend is a midget. Now, hear me out. We do everything together except seesaw, because that really wouldn't be fair to him. <laughs> I'll tell you, being a friend, you know, sometimes you gotta lie. Like, will he ever live his dream of being a weatherman? I doubt it. Because no one will ever believe a midget weatherman. A flood is coming. Yeah, to you. All right? Thank you very much. You guys have been a blast. I'll give him, yo, I'll give him credit, though. Every time I hear a story about a midget, it's always the most wildest <laughs> shit. It's... Uh, hey, that was light. Yeah, yeah to you. I, I like his style, man. He got like that running gun. Like, he almost don't even give you that much time to really soak in. Pause. Uh, those punchlines, it's just back to back to back to back to back to back to back. I, I like that. I like that. That was dope. <laughs> that was dope. I ain't gonna lie. In the beginning, I was like, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Where's this going? And then, and then after I got the first laugh, it just kept on, it just kept on rolling. Bro, I, I like his style, man. I'm glad y'all are choosing raw, raw, raw. Sound like I'm saying raw. <laughs> Fucking baby dinosaur. Anyways. I like that y'all saying um y'all choosing raw comedians because nothing's better than comedians that are telling you shit that <laughs> you think about. Well, I don't think I don't think about I don't think about a lot of shit he was saying, but uh but it's real shit though. It's real shit. I, I really enjoyed that. This guy was funny. This guy was funny. And I think this this wasn't even one of the ones that was sent to me like uh, so I'm, I'm pretty sure he got better ones. I seen I seen one that was uh, that's that says drugs uh, Him talking about drugs There was other ones about uh, relationships. There was other ones about uh, And the thing he said like you feel like your father's a hero then you grow up and you realize it's just a drunk person uh, a drunk man with a cape uh, <clears throat> What I, you know, what I take from that is, it could literally be that too, but what I take from that is, when we're young, we really see like, not just your parents, 
all the people that you look up, you see, you see them different than when you're adults and you realize, oh, this just a regular dude, like, figuring shit out. They don't even know what the fuck they're doing themselves. They're just figuring it out, and now that's you. And then if you have a kid, your kid's probably looking at you like, oh, shit, that's a hero, and you still just figuring shit out. That's dope. Anyways, y'all let me know if y'all want to see more of um, Dave Attell. I'm notorious for fucking up names. So, yeah. Uh, y'all let me know if y'all want to see more of him on this channel. And uh, let, me, let me know what's next. And I'll see y'all in the next one. And guess what? You better be the Peace.